let's talk about pocket size fountain pens. Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Aaron from Pen Venture. Welcome to another Pen Talk 101 video. And the topic of this video will be pocket size fountain pens. I have to say that I haven't really talked about pocket size fountain pens ever. Although I do own a few of them, I use them. And today, right now in this video, I want to know your thoughts regarding pocket size fountain pens. And by the end of the video, you will know why I want to know today your thoughts on pocket size fountain pens. But before getting there, I will share my thoughts on them. I have here one fine example of a pocket size fountain pen. And there is no way how to just simply address the elephant in the room. The most practical fountain pen, it's the pocket size because it's small, it's easy to carry, it's pretty much a checklist with check marks for a workhorse fountain pen because you can carry this sort of a fountain pen in your small pocket of your jeans, uh, in, in, in small bags, wherever you want. You can put it inside your car, uh, wherever you can find a place. This is small enough to fit there. But the thing is this, we all love hefty fountain pens, expensive ones, fancy ones like for example, this Genkai, uh, it's, it's super huge. I mean, it, it's a joke if you put it side by side, this Caveco. And uh, one of the most popular choices in regards of pocket size fountain pens is Caveco. And this is my Caveco. Uh, it's simple, uh, plastic, black, and it has a stub nib. And I do have this fountain pen for the past four years. I've been using it for signatures when I'm on the run, I take this with me, uh, it has some black cartridge of ink inside and it's very, very practical and it's very easy to use. I often don't talk about it and why? Because it's a fountain pen that's simply saying it's so far out of the reach of the normal fountain pens that I use that I have to say that this is not something that I want to go about and simply use in my videos alongside fountain pens that exceed in value sometimes a thousand, two thousand euros. It's two very different ballparks. Although this is very practical, a two thousand dollars euros fountain pen can be practical, but it's so far out of this league that is just simply saying there isn't too many things in between them. But I recently started talking with Ben from Gravitas from Ireland, who is a brilliant guy, a pen maker. And he sent me a few examples of his creations in regards of pocket fountain pens. And I want to show you what he sent me. And also, I want to know your thoughts. Do you like them? Do you use them? How do you use them? What features of pocket size fountain pens you like? What you don't like? And how do you intend to use them? in normal scenarios uh, and all of that. Let me know all of this in the comment section down below. I will share my thoughts and present some of the things that I use. I want to start with this Caveco because this is the first pocket size fountain pen that I've used. It's light, it's nimble, it's very practical, it's just simply a gizmo. It's a very, very practical fountain pen. I cannot use it on Posted. This is one of the problems that I have to say it restricting the use of this fountain pen because from my point of view, I use 99% of my fountain pens unposted. This is an example which restricts you from using the fountain pen unposted because when you post it, you have plenty of fountain pen to go about and to use as a normal pen. Although this is made out of plastic, it's very, very light a little bit too light for my teeth to say so. Uh, the nib is very small. So for example, in comparison to the overall proportions of the pen, it's a proper nib, but I would want to have the nib as the star. So I would have liked to have it a little bit more large. So this is very, very small in comparison to a size six nib. And uh, let me see if I have 
a size 6 nib around me. Leonardo Furore Grande with a 14 karat gold nib and this is a size 6 nib and uh, have a look at the Caveco nib. The nib is small and it may be the case to have a small nib on such a small fountain pen but I would have liked to have it a little bit uh, larger. Overall, the pen writes very, very nice. It's a steel nib, plastic feeder. Uh, I don't know if you can fit a one of those nipple converters in its place, but I think it can be used with a converter. Although I have been using this fountain pen with cartridges, pretty much it's a practical fountain pen, which I like. It doesn't have a clip, although Caveco it's offering clips which you can just simply pop on your fountain pen and make it with a clip. I don't have that accessory to say so. Since it's a faceted design, it shouldn't be rolling off your desk. And I carry most of my pocket fountain pens, including this one, in my jeans. So a clip will be technically preventing me from getting that fountain pen in my pocket. So this is the Caveco. And I will show you how it's writing in a few moments in a writing sample together with some of the stuff that Ben for Gravitas uh, sent me. When it comes to cost, this Caveco, it's priced around 25, 26 euros. And up from there, if you want a metal version, which is, I think, a little bit bigger. But this one made out of resin, which is basically very, very practical. It's priced around 26 euros, which is a very low price for what this pen offers you. I have been exploring some of the options from Gravitas and I have two of their versions. I have here the Pocket, which is this beautiful, beautiful metal fountain pen. I have here a gunmetal gray one, which is stunning and my favorite the raw metal version, the stainless steel one, which is right here. And this is a super heavy fountain pen. And uh, I have to say, I'm super impressed. This pocket fountain pen from Gravitas is very similar in regards of uh, proportions with the Caveco. And let's have a look. And this is the Caveco, a little bit more thinner and also a little bit longer, but not too much, a little bit. But in regards of the size cap, this is how it looks. Uncapped, this is the, the, the Gravitas, and the, this is the Caveco. So the Caveco, it's a little bit thinner and longer, and uh, the section, it's different, and the nibs are different because the pocket is using a size six nib. It's the one that I like the most. Let me cap this and let me show you a different version from Gravitas. And the, the different version, it's a smaller pocket fountain pen, which actually, hmm, the other one is in my pocket because I do carry this one. It's called the Quark. The Quark is made out of resin or plastic or polycarbonate. I don't know the specific name of the material, but basically this is the versions that I received to test out. This is the Ultim and it's a little bit more smaller. The quirk is wonderful. It's a screw to cap, like you see right here. And it's using the size six steel nib, something that I do like a lot. And in this configuration, made out of metal, the quirk is wonderful. Let's have a look at some of the features of the pocket first. It's, it's wonderful. It's very eye-pleasing. The design is very simple. It's uh, bulbous right here. Uh, this end sticks out. We have two very sharp uh, end finial and uh, cap finial right here. And the reason behind this is that this can be used in a emergency case and we will test out soon this feature. If you want to break a glass, let's just say you're stuck in your car and you want to break the glass and you have this in your pocket, you can break the glass, you can strike it like this and it should break, I believe. And we will test out this maybe not in this video, but soon. And um, let's just say your name is Bilbo Baggins and you have a quest. And in between you and Arkenstone, there is a few windows. Maybe this can help you. 
let's just not get into this. This is just purely a joke. Anyway, let's get back to the pan. What other feature? Well, we do have this beautiful feature which keeps your pan from rolling off your desk when it's capped. And I do like this because the surface is clean, it's beautiful, it's delightful, it's eye-pleasing, and this is very, very tacky. And Ban Wash from Gravitas has its own style, which I do like a lot. This technical, mechanical, uh, minimalistic design, uh, Bauhaus to say so, and it's, it's wonderful. You can use this fountain pen only posted. And when you post this slab of metal, which is very heavy, it becomes a proper fountain pen, both in size and in weight. We do have a very nice texture on this section right here. The nib, it's a flexi nib. We have this very nice O-ring, which makes the whole capping motion to be very secure. So you don't risk having this fountain pen uncapping by itself. You actually need a little bit of force to uncap it. Let's check out the filling system. You get a small converter, which is delivered with every fountain pen. And you have here a gasket or a O-ring, which if I'm not mistaken, if this is stainless steel and you put a little bit of silicone grease on the threads, you can eyedropper this fountain pen regardless if it's metal stainless steel doesn't corrode pretty much you have a variety of different colors and styles and uh, Ben does wonders when it comes to this fountain pens and their look have a look at this delightful uh, candy red and uh, if i'm not mistaken this is called gunmetal gray it's wonderful and the fountain pen it sports this very sleek blacked out section which is having this texture and this helps you to not have your fingers slipping forward towards the nib size 6 steel nib abs plastic feeder and this is a wonderful wonderful carry on accessory for you and let's check out the quirk so the quirk is right here this is small i mean look at its size in my hand this is super super small and the only way that you can use this fountain pen it's posted and it's screwed to post. It keeps the pan very securely posted. You have a O-ring right here on the outside, which keeps it closed like this. So it's not going to come loose by itself. I went forward and already converted this fountain pen to be a eyedropper. And the ink volume is out of this world. So we have two milliliters of ink measured in my syringe and i have to say this is stunning have plenty of ink and you can carry this fountain pen with you wherever you go in your pocket the section has this texture which prevents your fingers from slipping it's a little bit more narrow than the pocket version of this fountain pen and the size 6 steel nib Again, a small pan, but with a size six nib, ABS plastic feeder, and it's a wonderful writer. Now let's check out the metal version, which is my favorite, this one right here. This is so delightful and uh, have a look when everything is put like this. Again, we have right here a O-ring, which keeps the cap very, very tight on the fountain pan without risking having this fountain pan uncapping in your pocket because keeping it in your pocket you move a lot and it may become unloose like this but anyway uh it's 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 been taken care of ben and in this one i've used a standard international diamine cartridge in regards of pricing the gravitas quark is priced at around 90 euros for the metal version and 70 euro for the ultim which is this one right here and maybe it's a little bit more expensive than the Caveco. But what you get, it's a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. Excuse me if I said something wrong. Maybe there are a few people that uh, tend to find this statement a little bit more off. Please understand that this is coming from my point of view, my experiences with this fountain pens. When it comes to the pocket version, this one, which is the one that I like the most, this is made in a variety of materials, but what we have right here is this raw stainless steel version, which is a monster weight of a fountain pen. This is priced at 100 euros plus, and this version right here, which I don't think it's 
made out of stainless steel. This is priced at around 90 euros. Let me show you how these pants are riding. And let's start with the pocket rocket. My Caveco, my old Caveco. This is the Caveco with a 1.5 millimeter stub. A very italic nib, which uh, looks gorgeous. And the simple reason behind the choice having a stub on this fountain pen is to have it as a signature pen. So if I'm on the run, if I want to sign a document and I want to have a flamboyant signature to have a little bit of uh, difference in between of the lines, horizontal versus verticals, this is how it's performing. Uh, this is horizontal, this is vertical. It's fairly wet, but not a fire hose wet of a nib. Let's check out the quirk. And the quirk, we're gonna start with this version. And this is the quirk, Ultim. And this is a fine size six steel nib and uh, it's 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 a wet writer the size six it's wonderful this is a horizontal versus vertical and it's not super super wet keep in mind that the nibs on the gravitas fountain pens are made by gravitas using a very special proprietary uh, tipping material. Uh, a lot of research went into creating this fountain pens and their nibs are feeling a little bit more different than what I've tried till this point. Now let's move forward with the quirk which is made out of metal. My favorite version of it. We have here the quirk and this is metal. So this is a fine size 6 steel and this is with a cartridge. This is a little bit of figure of eight, uh, horizontal versus vertical, and the wetness test. Hmm. One pass, double pass, quite consistent. Have a look, pocket version, which is my favorite. And the wear marks right here from the capping motion, this has been in my pocket for a few weeks. And uh, this is how it looks in my hand. And let's put it up for riding this has a very flexy nib which is very wonderful so we have the gravitas <laughs> i love this nib i love it pocket and this is a flex fine point number six steel and uh, wow look at that this is super, super wet. This is, oh my God. This is just one pass. This is a double pass. It's not even a double pass. So it's still a one pass, but it's a wet, wet writer. The ink that I have here is Tatcha Ruri. Wonderful, wonderful. Now uh, have a look at this. Oops, I did press on the nib a little bit so it's a wonderful writer have a look at this feeder how it keeps up and having so much fun in such a small fountain pen comes with its sort of a, a feel for this writing instruments which i have not been presenting on the penmanji youtube channel that lot but this is just about to change because well stick with me and let's find out why. The reason behind this change is that, as I told you, we are setting up to be one of the only retailers of Gravitas fountain pens outside of their website. If you want a pocket fountain pen, something special from Gravitas right now, the only place to buy it is either from their website or you can meet up with Ben Walsh from Ireland when he travels to a pen show. Pen Venture will be offering, I believe, 85 to 90 percent of his designs on our website soon. Till then, I want to know if you enjoy pocket-sized fountain pens, first of all. Second of all, what are the brands that you own? What do you think about 
the creations of Ben Walsh from Gravitas, the fountain pens that I like, the pocket size fountain pens from Gravitas. I do admire him a lot and I do think that we have sort of a matching personality. Both of us, we are very curious. Although I'm mainly a retailer, he said a number of times when we've met at pen shows that I am not a simple retailer. I'm a very, very curious and full of knowledge person in regards to fountain pens, materials, manufacturing, and I know how to run a business. And uh, I said, Ben, don't you want to just simply put Gravitas next to Pen Venture and to have a joint venture and to just simply tell a story and share our friendship and share uh, the best of both of us. You are a very creative person, a very knowledgeable and resourceful person that puts uh, its passion to good works and makes very wonderful fountain pads, very innovating. I mean, I've seen everything from Gravitas. If he can put it on a paper in a 3D design, in a sketch, he will manufacture it. And he has also a lot of partners all over the globe that can help him to put this design in the market in a reasonable price and in a very good quality. So I said, Ben, let's team up and let's do this. And uh, it's been in a sort of a work project for the past few months, but we are in a few weeks or a month plus or so ready to have the entire lineup of Gravitas Fountain Pass on our website and you at home, if you like this, you can have it from Penventure as well. And I want to make the, the bridge in between uh, those spaces in the community, the super high-end writing instruments, collectors that like super important fountain pens, and the fountain pens that we tend to squeeze in our pocket and to write with them. And I do want to have the very best for my customers, you that are watching. And I think after testing this product myself from Gravitas, after he sent me some samples, we discussed, we find a way how to collaborate. I said, yeah, this is something that I want to stand behind. I do look forward because Ben, it's a maverick and I do believe the best is yet to come from Gravitas and from Penvenger as well. So in the future, you will be seeing a lot more from us together. Pretty much that is the reason behind this video. I want to know your thoughts on pocket fountain pens. I want to know what you like about them. I want to know what are your favorite brands for pocket size fountain pens. What are the set of features that you look forward at having on a pocket size fountain pen that you would add to your collection. If it's a Gravitas fountain pen, which color, which model, but anyway, whichever fountain pen is from Gravitas, most likely you will find it soon on our website. Thank you very much for spending this time with me. I shared my honest thoughts regarding pocket size fountain pens. Sorry if I have been offending someone. This is just purely based on my experience. Please understand I'm a human being and I'm trying to evolve. I'm trying to add more knowledge, more experience, and I need to be flexible in this. So based on all of my experiences, this is what I have to say about pocket size fountain pass. Let me know your thoughts as well. Use the comment section down below. Till then, if you're looking for your next writing instrument, just scroll down. You'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. And I will be more than happy to help you with your pen purchase. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. And if you want to support the growth of the pen your YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my previous content, I'm going to leave you this video right here. You can click and enjoy. And as always, I'm your host, David from Pen Venture. I look forward to seeing you next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.